I know these are big words, but I'm gonna tell you why do I think that Pink is the best female singer of the 21st century, at least. At least, because she would be <laughs> probably the other from the 20th, but again, let's be more inside the box. I think that Pink is the best female singer of the 21st century, and I'll tell you why. So, let me tell you, I'm not the biggest Pink fan. I, I like her music. I, I am a fan of her. I really, really, really like her. But I wouldn't say she's the she's my favorite. Okay, she's made one of one of my favorite songs. Uh, but still not number one. Uh, I don't really have a number one when it comes to female singers or male singers. Uh, I I'm a fan of Katy Perry. Uh, I like some Taylor Swift, not all her songs, but yeah, some of them, and of course Pink, which we'll be talking about her today. So, okay, Pink. I want you, I'm asking you a question because I just I am I ask it to myself and I just can't figure it out, okay? In the comments if you have any time or you know, just answer this question. Give me a bad quote unquote bad pink song. I want you to give me an example. A bad pink song. Give me I wanna know. Give me an example or, you know, send me a link to the song so I can sh see why is it bad. I, I can't get my hand around it, okay? She hasn't made one, one bad song. One. And look, this is the main reason why uh, you're a singer, okay? You make songs. If you haven't made a bad song and all of your songs are top, top, top quality Grammy nominated. So what's the point in arguing? I think that's why it's one of the biggest reasons she's the best singer, female singer of the 21st century, in my opinion. So look, not only I think that her most of her songs, nearly every single one of her songs is absolutely quality and amazing that everybody will enjoy. Yeah, I would say everybody because it's pretty open, opened up. It's not closed into the pop genre. It's more has rock, has pop, it has slow pay songs for everybody pink just it's it, pink is so creative of bringing new fans and keeping the old fans satisfied at the same time which i don't know any any female singer who did the same i just can't get my head around it okay so uh she made songs let me give you some examples of course her most famous and most well received song so what uh you plus your hand which is an underrated gem in my opinion uh try which is also grammy nominated i'm just telling you all these songs that i'm listing right now are grammy nominated uh don't leave me now and of course sober sober is a great song too what about us don't, just uh, uh just give me a reason with nate ross oh, so many great songs and all of them have recognition and you know, awards and things they can show their quality. Okay, so it's not only me speaking in a little room how great Pink is. Okay, it's it's pretty much most of the world. If she she won two Grammys, I'm not I'm not gonna look. I may speculate what uh, what she won them for, which songs, but I don't want to lie to you if I'm not sure. When I'm absolutely certain when I speak, I need to know that I speak the truth to you and not some rumor. Or some speculation that will lead to confusion and nothing else. Believe me. I'd rather go the, uh, the safe road. <laughs> than the risky one. Anyway. Pink is absolutely... Will, will go down as an absolute legend. In my opinion. So many of her songs affected so many people. In the best ways possible. And I don't think any female singer. In her caliber will ever will ever top her. so the meaning of her songs are so rebellious so intri intri uh, interestingly mashed up to creating a quality fucking song so uh like the themes are so deep like in try 
the tr uh, the song Try, I think, which I believe is one of our best songs, in my opinion. My dad doesn't like the song. Uh, he says that it's a bedwetting song, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh, I would disagree, man. I like Try, uh, mainly because it tackles the subject. It's not clear, but if you w heard the song so many times like I did, you would see the, the fucking uh, meaning. It's about a, a relationship that has uh, failed before and it's failed multiple times and it's like it seems so little hope now if they get back together to be happy to lead a happy life and you know be in a healthy and comfortable relationship even after those failures not only with one man or woman but with many other women which you still tried so hard to be in a relationship with but it always failed this is what the song says, keep trying, keep trying, don't give up. It will Someday you'll find happiness, someday you'll find the man or the woman who will comfort you and be with you to the rest of your life. And these, these themes are so deep and so interestingly presented to you in a, in a quality song, like Try. Uh... Uh, so be honest, just give me a reason. Another, you know, uh, just give me a reason and try a very similar songs, like themed based and, uh, you know, uh, rhythmic based. Both of them are pretty similar, which is not, which is great. They're they were both very very successful songs in their own rights. But still, you can see the similarities. You can see the, uh, I'll, I'll, look. So just give me a reason and try are very similar. I'm gonna give you, Pink tries to connect her songs into meaning she wants to talk about love about hopeless love and you must keep trying and must keep keep the hope alive try and just give me a reason for the people who want to hear this stuff somebody who wants to feel rebellious somebody who, who wants to just give you the middle finger no matter what situation it is like me then you should listen to You Plus Your Hand and So What. These songs are rebellious. They are ingenious in my opinion. And just so, so, it just heals your soul, okay? It just heals, heals your soul. And, uh, they're both secretly about relationships too. But it's like, I don't give a fuck. You can go fuck yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm single and I love to be single. Nobody will ruin my life. And, and especially not you ever again both these songs send this message in an amazing well uh, an amazing way uh, and i believe that you plus your hand is her most underrated songs i'm basing the word underrated over youtube views because you plus your hand is 85 million and so what is 400 million and the songs are pretty close like quality wise and it just doesn't make sense when you see the youtube views like there's so many good songs like Rob Thomas, Love uh, Lonely No More, who, which in my opinion is a fucking great song, has 21 million views. It just, it's strange because some people in, in, in certain countries don't listen to this uh, kind of music. But at the same time, they listen and they, because of the similarities of the song, they uh, switch up. They think that's the one. Oh, no. I wanted to watch that one, but I forgot its name. Oh, anyway, I'm going to stick to that one. You see, that's what I'm trying to say. People get mistaken because they're too similar, maybe. And probably that's going to be the little form of criticism I would say to Pink. But nothing else. Nothing else. Listen, I love Katy Perry. If you want, I would make, drop it in comments, of course, I'll make a Katy Perry video. Full disclosure, this fucking... Bitch made my childhood. I'm gonna, okay, we'll see, we'll see. But it's likely for me to make a Katy Perry video as well. But I have to acknowledge the sheer quality of Pink, of pink songs and the, the deep and emotional meaning behind every single one of her songs. That's why I think Pink is the greatest, the best female singer in the 21st century. And I'm, I'm, uh, and I'm not saying she's my favorite. She's one of, she's, she's, you know, up there. But no matter how biased you are, no matter how you hate Pink, you have to acknowledge the quality when it's presented to you. Okay, you may, you may not like her songs, but you can't deny the, the fucking quality, okay? 
Because if you do, if you stare at the truth and say, no, this is a lie, or, uh, you know, turn off the lights and, and say, oh, the lights are turned turned on, it doesn't make sense, okay? Look, I learned the hard way uh, that I have to accept the truth in life. Because there's nothing other than the truth. If you cover up the truth and uh, with a lie and think it's the truth, well, then the truth will come back and smack your fucking ass. Like it did to me. I tried to cover it up. I, did, I fucking tried my best not to believe in the harsh realities of life. I tried my best to stay positive, stay, <laughs> stay happy, forced to stay happy just to keep the others around me happy. But at the end of the day, you're a human being. You never, you should never hide your true self behind fake feelings and fake lies. Because if you think they are, they are your shield, you're mistaken. And this shield is nothing but a, a fucking paper that will break very easily. R broken by the truth. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more music videos, I made a Maroon 5, I made, I made a Linkin Park video. Just, you know, I love music, everybody loves music. This is a variety channel, okay? I'm, I'm not, I'm having, I have gaming playthroughs, I have movie reviews, game reviews, game walkthroughs, as I said. And, you know, music topics. Talking about music, music sing singers, bands, whatever. Just tell me in the comments whatever you like. It's a variety channel. Variety channel, everything you want. Maybe I can re review porno. I can review fucking Pornhub, you know, newest videos. If you love Pornhub, you'll love Pornhub Live. You know, this kind of shit. If you, tell me what you want, really. Tell me what you want. I can talk football, European football. I'm a Liverpool fan. Tell me what you want to hear from European football as well. Anything, man. It's just, it's a variety channel. Whatever you say, I'll deliver. With a smile on my face. You know, sometimes it's fake, but you must deal with it. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. Pink is the best. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.